I think I think we're there. I can't, okay, great. I can't quite tell. Hi, everyone. Hold on two seconds, Angela. Let's see. Mine says we're live on Facebook. Excellent. That's a wonderful thing. So go for it. Say hi to everybody. Hi, everyone. Hey, everybody. I'm Jen O'Connor, and this is a follow-up to our very frustrating painting demo. And Angela, you were so gracious. Thank you for sticking with us. We, um, we're at the bleeding edge of this technology with going live on Zoom and streaming to Facebook. And both Zoom and Facebook dropped updates today. So yes. you can start to see much more of this because now they've made it a little bit more easy. But would you show people what we did and, and let people yeah. know what's going on with you, please, Angela? Okay. Well, today we were working on this painting here and uh, we just added um, uh, faces to the birds and some more detail in the background, some branches, and I was working on a background color. Uh, here is some of the uh, colors we were using on uh, this painting. And this is all acrylic and I was showing earlier um, that it's water based so I was spraying the paint with water and uh, Jen thought that was kind of interesting. <laughs> I did. I, I always love to watch Angela work. Um, and this is, was the inspiration. I told Angela that I loved this painting and we were talking a lot about her book. And Angela was supposed to be here this week for classes at our spring event called Bloom. And since she couldn't be here and we're, we're under, um, under lockdown, we're starting these Zoom classes. And Angela has been good enough to say that she'll come back next week. Um, so for those of you that were there with us um, and stuck with us, thank you. And Angela, I know in your book, you talk a lot about birds and blooms and setting up, and I know you'll continue that next week, but can you hold up some of the paintings you've been working on this week that you're gonna pack up and send to Greedy Me? Yeah. Angels, because uh -huh. these, these are some of the paintings that can't be here for the, for the gallery event, but you're gonna send them anyway. Right, now this is one that um, I am sending today, actually, that you've been waiting for, and it's okay. three birds also. I absolutely love that. That is one of my favorite pieces ever. Yeah, so, and then I've got um, some interesting, um, a lot of uh, spring colored birds with like, you know, spring colors, lots of blossoms, just like uh, you see outside right now. And then um, bees, uh, and this is a whippoorwill. I haven't seen you do one of those before. How do you get the ideas to do certain birds, Angela? Well, I mean, I grew up with whippoorwills, so um, a lot of them are local birds, but then um, I'll do like African birds or I'll just like start something new. And I, I don't know, I just get my inspiration from life. Something well, inspires me and then I'll start painting it. Well, I want to say hello. Both Lauren Corbin and Ro are watching. So hi. Hi, Ro. Hi, Lauren. And um, Ro uh, got me turned on to birds and everybody knows okay. I'm the crazy bird lady that like feeds my birds every morning. And I got all excited last week because I had never seen a, 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 a grosbeak except, oh, okay. except in one of your paintings. And I was uh -huh. sitting there drinking my coffee and we're gonna do a coffee talk uh, okay. with Christy who's moderating this session. Thank you, Christy. We're gonna do a coffee talk with Christy in the morning and I'm gonna show everybody where I sit to watch the birds out my window. Mm -hmm. And there was a grosbeak and the only, I, I had to go to the, the my North American field guide and then you showed me one of your paintings that was a cross Okay. Yeah, that's really cool. That's a cool story. I love stories like that. Yeah. And I and I love that you've gotten me to look. I mean, I love your art and that's how we met when I when I when I saw one of your bird and bloom paintings and fell uh -huh. in love. But I love that um, you've gotten me to look at nature a little bit more carefully through your abstract birds. So thank okay. you for that. Cool. But here's another, um, I actually just, it's not dry yet. I just got it on my finger. Um, <laughs> but this one's interesting because I put uh, some wax in it and it makes it really thick layers. So it's kind of very textury. You, you've been playing a lot with texture and also yeah. with the glaze that you've been doing on uh -huh. some of the pieces. They're, they've got this real luster to them that I love. Yeah, I like that too. So, Wait, and then... Are you going to do more of that? Yeah, I want to. I okay. like the way the the uh, varnish looks sometimes. This is a funky bird here. He's a Philippines eagle. 
just kind of crazy hair. Yeah, then these are kind of like the butter bees, oh. just like butterflies and other insects and things. I, I absolutely love that. This is one of my current favorites that you sent. And I was talking before when we were talking with Christy in the, mm -hmm. um, the little meeting we did. And a lot of people don't know, I have to go back and forth a lot um, with you and the other artists with whom I do business just to have a dialogue of what you're working on. I have to, I have to beg you to send work. Oh, please, can I have it? You know, get, get the inspiration going back and forth. But when we were talking uh -huh. to Christy before, I love how your paintings are thick. And I, I told you that I always want to like bite them. And yeah, you, you spread painting like it's frosting or fondant. And I hope when we do the, the demo next week, maybe you can talk a little bit about what your inspiration is for that. And, okay. and, and talk to us a little bit about that, because that thickness and how you work I love that these can just lean and don't have to necessarily be hung up. Okay, that is interesting. Um, I'll say one thing real quick that comes to mind is my mother, when I was growing up, she was like a cake decorator hobbyist. So I grew up with cake decorating. And so that's funny that you mentioned cake deck, like a, a frosting on a cake. That That's so funny. I think sometimes um, I'm gonna pick this up because I wanna put it on camera because it's one of Christie's favorites. We were okay. talking before, the hollyhocks. I love and that one too. I think sometimes um, we forget how like former experiences really influence or things that we're drawn to. Mm -hmm. And you were talking a little bit before um, when we were live before before Facebook before Facebook threw us off. Yeah, <laughs> I love it. We got like thrown off Facebook for using this technology. We're so we're so we're so cool. Uh, but, but I love how you were talking about how like you love color so much and how sometimes yeah. you limit a palette. Mm -hmm. and I thought that was so interesting because all of your pieces really hold together so well with so few brush strokes. And, and you said that you were restricting yourself from using yellow. Can you, what, what was that about? Well, that was just like a personal challenge, but also um, because yeah, like a, in a music uh, performance, I mean, uh, you don't want all the instruments playing at once. And so you have to be careful, like it's like harmony in a, a painting as far as color and uh, even like uh, the composition, all that, you have to take all that into consideration. I love that. I love that. So that, that that's like opposite of what I do in the morning. I go to get dressed and like try to put as many color and la <laughs> layers on. Yeah, that's like, great. That's a but, talent though to like be because so many people are just like, I'll just do black. I can handle black, but it yeah, takes. Yeah, I know, but I mean, I I feel like sometimes um, the the color is of like sort of therapeutic to me. So uh -huh. um, Basha Zarzika, if she's watching, uh, Basha taught, um, taught Letty and I that you always should wear one thing red every day for good fortune. Oh, that's my favorite color. Yeah, I oh. wear red. Well, always. there you go. And I think of that all the time. And um, sometimes even if it's just like a little a piece of jewelry or something, okay. I throw it on and it's- Yeah, good to know. Yeah, I just thought it was something funny that she taught us. And um, this is one of my other favorite ones, this chickadee. Do you, is chickadee your favorite bird? Probably. I feel like a chickadee is a blank canvas. It's because you could put any crazy color with it because it's just black and white. I love that. We we had chickadees in the yard the other day and mm -hmm. I went out, I feed them, as like I said, I feed the birds every morning and they literally, their call is like, I'm not going to do it because I'm tone deaf and I will so yeah. embarrass myself, but it literally sounds exactly like their name. It's, it's, it's interesting. Uh-huh. Yeah, that is interesting. But that's why you like to do them because they're black and white. So then when you do your color palette around them, it can be different. I think my ring yeah. matches. What do you think? Yeah, think it does. It really does. We are. I, I match this painting today. Yeah, you do. <laughs> those are just cute birds that are, you know, they've they got are. a lot of personality, I think. Can you hold up a few of the other pieces that you're sending? Because yeah. I've, I've, I haven't had any, um, of course, because I'm, I'm working, I mean, I know how hard you're working and I'm working really hard and um, mm -hmm. I'm working on my own right now. So there's a little bit of a lag time between me getting work in and me being able to post it to the site. 
yeah. what he's been doing is trying to do these live shows and kind of show people the work as it mm -hmm. as it like almost before it's coming in. And then over in the the group, Jen's Earth Angels. Anyone that's we have a lot of people watching. Um, Christy saying quite a number of people are watching. So anyone that's watching, I would just encourage them to also become a member of Jen's Earth Angels Insiders Group because that's where you'll yeah. see all these paintings first. Angela, can you hold up a few more pieces that you're sending? Because then once yeah. they get here, I'll get pictures of them and I'll do an update for you in the group probably you know sometime next week. Okay. Yeah, so here's a colorful bird. Um, it's a fairy wren from Australia. And then uh, we talked about this earlier. It's uh, like a poppy seed roll and Lily of the Valley. But Ro, Ro is watching and she loves Lily of the Valley. Can you tell everybody the story of why you painted that? Because okay. I have a story behind that. Yeah, because uh, last time I came to Earth Angel Studio in the spring, uh, I went to the bakery in uh, Florida. Right. And that has the poppy seed roll and I love poppy seed roll. And so I bought it and took it home on the airplane. And then our um, Lily of the Valley was blooming and I had this Russian vase that my friend Galena gave me from Russia. And uh, so I just put the whole thing together and then painted it. So, uh, and it does remind me of my uh, last spring trip to uh, Florida, New York. That, that makes me so happy. And now I know that I have to get you that poppy roll when you come next time. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> and, and my favorite thing on the planet is chocolate chip. My favorite sweet is chocolate chip cookies. Oh, that's, that's actually. I, mean, I really love cake and, uh -huh. you know, like, uh, I mean, I really love chocolate, but I'm not really a cake person, but chocolate mm -hmm. chip cookies get me. And then yeah, is I love the cake that really existed. What is this one? Those are whoopie pies, but those are like vanilla ones. And those are from Magnolia Bakery. Oh, I know. And before. they have one in Chicago. And my friend that I was with said that there was a new Mongolian bakery in town. I'm like, I've never heard of a Mongolian bakery, but it turned out it was Magnolia Bakery. <laughs> That is hysterical. Yeah. I love that you, I love that you allow like sort of like everyday things like sweets and, and like this, this, the, like these apples. I love that you allow everyday objects to inspire you. And I know you love birds and love nature, but I love that you sometimes you would pa you painted Hershey Kisses once and yeah. and like a happy and ca I, like, I love when you do that whole sweet series because it makes me feel like it's like a little window into your world and you're sharing it in your work. And I, I love how you do that in your book. You sort of, you know, set up still lifes for people. Mm -hmm. Even with whatever is around, I mean, maybe someone doesn't have access to go out and sit in nature and a lot of people are inside right now, but they could yeah. set up something with cookies or a, a vase and, you know, maybe a row of vases or something. And I, right. I love that you encourage people to just even use what's right around them. Yeah, yeah, it's true. And it's kind of a challenge. It's something different. So for me, it's definitely a challenge if I paint something and also just trying to find everyday uh like i knew someone that painted a stack of newspapers once it turned out really cool well, so here's some roses that are ready oh you know that i love roses and yeah love roses oh that's so i love roses too and then i also have um well, i want to see more bees. bees yeah i love that Oh, see, that's the, that's a great example of the chickadees on like just a back, a different palette. So that's what you were talking about because right here's two chickadees in a in a similar um, you know composition, two chickadees on a branch, but it's yeah. like a different color palette. So it feels really different. Yeah, yeah, you could put like different moods, um, is different that on, seasons. Is that, on, is that on canvas or wood, Angela? This one's on canvas. And so you you usually paint the sides, right? Usually, yeah. This one's unpainted. I like I like how it looks so raw. That's really cool. Okay, and this one's painted. It's a little thicker, and um, that I love. I absolutely love that. That's amazing. Look how much expression you have, and that like just these economical brush strokes, and then that little eye. I feel like he's like, look at me. Yeah, I kind of wanted him to stand out against like the lacy Queen Anne's lace kind of. Um, I glazed over the Queen Anne's lace and left it kind of, I wanted it more like uh, to stay in the background. 
I love that. that. It's in the foreground. And I even put a lot of bumpy texture on this blade of uh, greenery that he's sitting on. I love how you use texture. And you even get texture in um, some of your acrylics. And I want to say hello. Uh, Christy, who's moderating on Facebook, says Suzanne has joined us. Hi, and, Suzanne. And Melinda. And Ro is still there. Hi, Melinda. Uh, because I know Ro loves her birds. And I want to point out, um, you talked a little bit about back painting. So like on this, uh -huh. when we do your demo next Tuesday, now that Facebook and Zoom have decided that they like each other enough to let us do this. Okay. And hijack. Will you do, um, can you do another painting demo for yeah. us? I know you're going to be finishing that other painting, but could you, for some of the people that are just joining, maybe set something up and show us that? Yeah, show like the background and then a bird on top of it. Like how you did the big wash with the paint and kind okay. of take us through another project. Sure. Okay. Yeah, definitely. That would be great. And so yeah. is, there any, is there anything else you want to show me that's, um, oh, Ethan's watching. Hello, oh, Ethan. Hi, Ethan. Yeah, hi, let Ethan. me uh, really quickly grab a couple things. Great. And I also want to say, hey, Paul, Paul is watching. Hey, Paul. And uh, also, let's see who else is watching. Marie Murphy. Hey, Marie. I'm glad you're here. So thanks to everybody who's joining us. We, we sort of did a second segment because um, Facebook threw us off because they updated their um, live technology and sharing today. But we'll be back tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. And it will be working with Christy for coffee. And then we've got two sessions on Saturday. And then Angela will be back next Tuesday with another demo. But she wants to show you some paintings that she's sending my way now. Yeah, so these are uh, some colorful birds, and this is on a cradle panel that's got the sides all ready to go. And then um, I know you like peonies, so I've got peonies. I absolutely love that. That's beautiful. Thank you. And um, yeah, I love peonies. I have uh, this color in my yard, so um, uh, that's where I got the inspiration. And then I've got a lot more chickadee. This is a warbler, singing warbler. And um, this one, I don't know what you think, but um, I've always loved this one. He's upside down and he's just kind of being silly. That's, I, lo I love that one because, and Tim Perk is watching. And so Tim, you know, every friend that you have, and every person you connect with allows you to have a different perspective. And I absolutely love that one because most days I feel upside down and maybe, yeah. maybe he's facing the right way and it's all a matter of gravity. I love yeah. that. He's yeah, I feel the same way a lot. <laughs> he, he looks like he's kind of like peering upside down. I love that. Yeah, definitely. So I don't know, just kind of like to sometimes make the birds doing playful things like they do in nature. So. I love that. Well, I, I, I could watch you paint all day. So I want to thank you for this. Um, and thank everyone for watching. And thank Christy for moderating. And again, we'll be back tomorrow morning with Christy at 10 a.m., which I know you're going to moderate. And thank you in advance, Angela. We'll have our coffee mugs in you're the then We'll do a play date with Jody on Saturday at 2. And then we'll do a Blythe play date at 3. And then we'll be back with you next Tuesday. And um, yeah. I think Letty, Worley, and Cecilia Fioravanti are also going to hop in there sometime. And we'll just keep studio hopping just to let people know what's going on with the artists and what they're doing. So if there's anything in particular you want to share next week, let me know in our conversations. Okay. And we'll follow up on email with some of those pictures. And then maybe when the maybe when those paintings get here next week, I'll change this background setup. And maybe I'll do a gallery wall so people can okay. see them on a wall and display. Okay, yeah, that sounds very great and fun. All right. Well, thank you for being willing to do this for me and, and, and for everyone watching. Yeah, this has been great. So right. thanks, everyone. Thank you so much, everybody. Thank you, everybody, for watching and for your patience. Angela, thank you for sharing, and we'll see you all soon. You're welcome. Bye.